What might be hiding underneath the streets outside your home? What's been washed up on your nearest beach today? There might be nothing there at all, or there might be something surprising and fascinating. Remarkable discoveries are made either deliberately or by chance somewhere in the world every single day. We like to gather those incredible discoveries together for you on this channel and tell you all about them in great videos like this one. Buckle up! In the Russian city of Yaroslav, there's an old church that burned down many years ago and was forgotten about until a team of archaeologists went digging there in May 2020. The church, known as the Church of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, was built in 1787 by Prince Kozlovsky and stayed open until 1963. But the parish was then disbanded and the building was damaged by fire not once, but twice. Now there's a restoration project underway, but before the building could be restored, archaeologists came in to see what might be hiding inside the burned out ruins. It's a good thing they did, because trapped below the stump of a long dead tree in the church grounds was this beautiful 19th century plate covered in figurines and cherubs. It was a little rusty and dirty, but once it was placed into the capable hands of restorers, it shone once more. After cleaning, the inscription on the plate became clear. It reads, I pray to thee, may divine goodness abide on thy people. Unsurprisingly, it's been taken as a positive omen about the project to restore the church. Elsewhere in Russia, in the Yakatuya region of the country, the largest colored diamond in the nation's history was unearthed at the end of July 2020. A team of specialists from A.L. Almazi Anabara was responsible for the find, which is a yellow-brown diamond weighing an impressive 236 carats. It had been waiting for a very long time to be found. The experts believe that it was formed more than 200 million years ago. This isn't the first yellow diamond to be found at Yakutia. Another one was found at the end of 2019. That one was deemed so impressive that it was given a special nickname, the Yellow Firebird, and was acquired at great expense by the Graf Diamonds Company. The Yellow Firebird was only 20.69 carats, though. This new discovery is much larger, and therefore several times more valuable. Even though the global diamond market is a little soft at the moment because of financial conditions around the world, it's thought that every diamond cutter and seller on the planet will be interested in buying this. It's going to make a very impressive and expensive acquisition for somebody. Road digging and restoration projects provide excellent opportunities for archaeologists to make new discoveries. And that proved to be the case yet again in Poland a little earlier this year. In a city known as Elk, the Jacques Historical and Exploration Association was called in to go over the newly exposed road after the top layer of soil was removed. When they did, they found a treasure trove of more than 500 17th century coins waiting for them. The makeup of the coin collection is both fascinating and confusing. Rather than all of them being from Poland, they come from countries all over Europe, including Scotland, Denmark, Sweden, and the Netherlands. The most recent of them was minted in 1652, the experts aren't sure how they came to be gathered together on this road. They might have been buried here by a traitor, or perhaps even a soldier who wanted to hide his life savings before going off to war. For whatever reason, the person who left the coins behind never returned for them. So they remained undiscovered for most of the next 400 years. Now they've been found again, and they've been given to the Elk Historical Museum for public display. The submarine known as the H.L. Hunley holds a unique distinction. It was the first submarine in history to sink an enemy vessel when it took out the USS Housatonic during the American Civil War in 1864. The crew didn't have long to enjoy their success, though. Roughly an hour after that attack, the Hunley floundered and then sank, taking all eight of its crew to the bottom of the sea with it. It wasn't found again until 1995, and from there, it took a further five years to raise it back to the surface. When it was returned to dry land, two things were discovered. Firstly, the sub had sunk because one of its own torpedoes exploded as it was being deployed. 
And secondly, the remains of the crew were still aboard. It had been thought that all of the human remains had been extracted and buried. But amazingly, 17 years later, another human tooth was found in a mass of sand next to the boat's crank handle. The late discovery illustrates the difficulties that the Hunley restoration team is having with their project, which involves keeping the entire vessel submerged in a 75,000 gallon tank of chemicals as they slowly chip away at the layers of sediment and dirt it's caked in. If you can identify the strange creature that washed up on the beach in Charleston, South Carolina in February 2020, let us know in the comments. Nobody seems to be quite sure what this carcass was when it was still alive. But there's something unsettling about its appearance. It doesn't have any eyes. What it lacks in the vision department, it makes up for in the biting department. Those teeth look like they'd be capable of chewing through almost anything. Numerous theories have been posited about the creature's identity, with some people suggesting that it could be a possum or a giant iguana. Others say it could be a mutated dog. Some South Carolina residents even speculated that it might be a mythical creature known as the chupacabra, which is said to attack animals and drink their blood like a vampire. One possible clue might be the existence of Morgan Island, 40 miles away, also known as Monkey Island. The top secret island plays host to a colony of monkeys who were once experimented on by the US government. So it's theoretically possible that one such specimen may have escaped, drowned, and washed up here. Unlike the beach creature, scientists have been able to identify our next discovery. But they were no less surprised to see it. This nose-horned dragon lizard, also known as Modigliani's lizard, had been believed to be extinct for more than a century until a living member of the species was found in 2018 in the North Sumatran forests of Indonesia. This chance discovery, made by a biologist who is in the region to survey birds, marks the first confirmed sighting of the extremely rare lizard since Elio Modigliani spotted and recorded the creature for the first time in 1891. The bright green, friendly looking creature was hiding out close to a lake that fills the caldera of a local supervolcano. Although they're difficult to find now, it appears that the lizards were once much more prolific and visible in the region. References to them repeatedly appear in the folklore of the region's indigenous Batak people. Aside from having a distinctive nose horn, this species can camouflage itself like a chameleon and blend in with the background. Perhaps that's how they've evaded detection for such a long time. In 2009, wealthy poet, author, and antique dealer Forrest Fenn did something extremely unusual to promote a new book. He took a treasure chest, filled it with around $1 million worth of gold, jewelry, and paintings, and hid it in a secret location. He then invited the whole world to come look for it using clues he'd left in his poems. The only piece of information that anyone knew for sure was that the treasure chest was within the Rocky Mountains region of New Mexico. Finally, in June 2020, the long hunt came to an end when Forrest confirmed that somebody had found his treasure and followed the instructions within the chest to inform him of the discovery. Whoever that anonymous finder is must have been very clever. Forrest's clues were cryptic and vague, so much so that some people accused him of faking the whole thing on the grounds that the clues were impossible to follow. This is a happy ending to a tale that hasn't always been cheerful. At least two people lost their lives searching for the treasure on remote parts of the mountains and falling to their doom. Emojis may one day become the most widely used form of language in the world, but if you think they're a modern day invention, we've got a surprise for you. The smiley face is the most used and most recognizable of all the emojis, and it's easy to recognize it carved into the side of this 3,700-year-old sherbet pitcher that was found in Karkamis in Turkey in July 2017. The marking was made deliberately, and the style is almost identical to the type of smiley that people draw today. We think that officially qualifies this as the oldest smiley in the world. The pot was used for drinking sherbet, so it's highly likely that whoever owned it 
associated the object with good times and fun. The smiley face would, therefore, go hand in hand with its use. Back when the pitcher was made, the area it was found in would have been controlled by the Hittites. So never let it be said that the Hittites didn't have a sense of humor. The digital emojis we use today were created during the 1980s, but didn't enter wide usage until the late 1990s as the world moved online. In May 2020, language therapist Antonetta Mora was out gathering fruit in the forest of her native Costa Rica when she spotted something moving on a branch. The more she looked at it, the more afraid of it she felt herself becoming. At first, she thought it was a cricket, but she quickly deduced that wasn't the case. She then considered the possibility that it was a praying mantis, but that didn't seem right either. The strange insect-like creature appeared to be made of interlocking spiny thorns, almost like a skeleton, and Antonetta could see straight through its body. She feared that she'd stumbled across some kind of accursed skeleton insect. Fortunately, she had her phone with her, so she could switch on her camera and record the creature in motion. It took a while for anyone to identify it, but she eventually found out that this is a Marchia espinaci, a rare type of cricket with camouflage properties. It isn't actually see-through at all. The darker parts of its body change color to match the background, providing the illusion of transparency and making it difficult for potential predators to see it. It's surprising that Antonetta could see it at all. You could have been forgiven for thinking that a massacre had occurred if you visited Vernadsky Research Base on the Antarctic coast in February 2020. The ice appeared to be splattered with blood, and the entire scene looked like something out of a horror movie. Fortunately, it isn't what it looks like. Although the phenomenon is known as raspberry snow, what you can see here is actually a streaking effect caused by red pigmented algae and can occur anywhere in the world that there are thick layers of snow and ice. It just generally isn't this visible and obvious. The algae live in cold water and become dormant during winter months. But when summer comes and temperatures drop slightly, the algae blooms. The red color comes from its spores. Aristotle was the first person in history to record the existence of raspberry snow 2,300 years ago, although he called it blood snow instead. Having this much of the algae in one place generally isn't good news for the Antarctic environment, as it can kick off a cycle of blooming and melting that prevents the ice from returning to its normal temperature. There are relics of the Second World War to be found below the water all over Europe, many of which will never be discovered. In February 2019, though, one of the most sought-after items was finally found by accident when the Turkish Navy was attempting to shoot an underwater commercial off their country's coast close to Agva. As they descended to a depth of 120 feet below sea level, they came across the wreck of a German U-23 submarine from Hitler's notorious Lost Fleet. The much-feared fleet was responsible for the sinking of at least 50 Soviet ships during the war, and perhaps even more than that. The fleet became lost when Romania turned against the Nazis in 1944 and blocked off the submarines from their return path to Germany, and what happened to them next is unclear. It's likely that all six of them were eventually sunk, although this one is the first that's ever been positively identified. Despite its historical significance, it's likely that the submarine will never be raised or moved from its current location because it's a war grave. We're all familiar with the circle of life. We eat while we're alive, and when we die, we become food for other creatures. That's just as true of whales as it is of humans. But until these fantastic pictures were obtained off the coast of Monterey in November 2019, we had no idea just how many creatures could be sustained by the carcass of a single whale once it reaches its final resting place on the seabed. In these images, we see crabs, eels, octopuses, and several other types of fish tucking into what's left of the whale. Finding food in the darkness this far below the water can be difficult for the creatures that live down there. So when a whale drops in unannounced, it's a real treat for them. You could even think of it as a sort of fishy Thanksgiving. The only other forms of food that exist down here are classed as marine snow. 
consisting of flakes of plankton and shell fragments that sink down from above. A whale can deliver the equivalent of 100 years worth of food in an instant. And so when a so-called whale fall happens, an entire ecosystem can build up around it. There isn't much left of this one now, but the creatures around it are still finding pieces to gnaw on. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.